Hey guys, it's Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Camry's here with me today. Hi guys. And we are going to show you how to do an infinity braid tie back. Now you can see on her hair I have it tied back, but that is not the only way you can wear this hairstyle. You could pull it up in a ponytail and wear it back in the back if you were a sporty girl going to soccer, or even I have it on myself in a little side braid that looks cute right here that I did on myself, so it's definitely one you can do on someone else or yourself. Okay, now you can see that I started by parting her hair right down the middle and then I sectioned off kind of a rectangular shape, leaving about an inch and a half above each ear just for softness. So I'm going to take that section and divide it in half, try to do it pretty even, and on this top section I'm going to pull off another small piece of hair, right here at the top. Now I'm going to go over that section and through the middle of the two of them, and here's one of the tricks. So I'm gonna teach you a couple of tricks. One of the tricks is that on this infinity braid, you always want this back piece of hair coming up and over like this on both sections. It just makes the braid pop a lot better. So this needs to come up and wrap around and then go back through the middle and back behind and then up and over again. So you've essentially created like the shape of a number eight through the hair. You're just looping that same piece. It's the same piece over and over. We're not switching hair or anything. And it's just going up and over, down through the middle, like an eight, like this shape, over and over and over around the hair. So you're gonna try to keep it pretty tight. You can see I'm going up and over again, through the middle, around the back, and back up and over. Now here's trick number two. Get my hands out of the way so you can see. Every time you go around, you want to just kind of give it a little tug upward like this so that all of those little bumps smush together and create a really consistent looking braid. Also, on this bottom loop, when you go up and over this one, if you do it like this, can you see how there's space right here between those two hairs? That looks more like a normal braid and that's what we don't want. So what you want to do to prevent that is just when you pull that hair down, then go back up and see how I'm pushing that hair really tight up into that braid again and then loop it again. So now you can see that I've just closed the gap completely between those hairs. And that's what you're going to want to do over and over and over again. So you're just going to, and it's really fast. When you get going, you won't have any trouble at all. It will happen really quickly. You can see that I'm just up and over, around the back, create the eight, up and over, around the back, create the eight. Now what I can see happening here on her hair is that this piece is getting thinner as we work it down we get to the ends. So when this starts happening about this, about this point, I'm going to just take another little small section off one of the sides and I'm going to just add that into it so that we create a little more thickness again and we give it a little more length because we don't want that hair to end at some point. We want it to keep looking like it's just, you know, magically and going on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And when you've gotten all of the length you need to pull it back, then you're going to just take it back and make a nice shape. Take the opposite end of the braid and I'm going to just secure them together right in the back of her head. And you can push it down. The nice thing about these is they can kind of shape they're so thick and tough at this point, they kind of shape nicely, which you can play around with a little bit. Twist them until you like them hang flat. And undo any excess braid. And you're done. Hi guys! Be sure to check out our latest two videos that you can find here, and show us some love by clicking on the subscribe button.